Friday morning. The Clark County Fair opens today. It's a huge summer event. It runs for more than a week. Cor Harlan joins us live now with a sneak peek. Cor? Well, we're in the bee barn this morning here, taking a look at uh, bees, talking a little bit about bees, what they do, how important they are. And we are talking uh, about bees this morning with the American Honey Queen. This is Hannah Schustrom. And you tell the folks where you're from, and then they'll be able to figure out what state you're from. <laughs> I'm from Maiden Rock, so that's going to be in Wisconsin. Maiden Rock. She's from Maiden Rock. I love how you say it. I'm not making fun <laughs> of you. I just like how you say it. So you travel around the country educating people, talking up bees, right? I do. So I'm a national spokesperson for the honey industry. So I'll go to about 20 to 25 states this year, just trying to bring awareness to our industry. What about bees? What is the plight of bees? we got a lot of people in the Portland, Vancouver area that are urban bee farmers. What is the overall plight of the bee? So yeah, so it's, the honeybees are super important to our life. So about one third of the food we eat needs pollination with 80% of that dependent on our little girls over here. So it's super important that everyone just, we're trying to bring awareness to that they're not doing so well lately and just trying to say that different flower sources can actually help the bees if that's what you're into and stuff. And we look at the setup here, Carl, it's hard to kind of see, but uh, Hannah, kind of explain to me, we've been looking in here, looking real close, trying to find the queen bee. She's in there somewhere, right? Yes, she is. So she's going to be underneath all of the bees because it's a little bit cold this morning. So she likes to be warm. And then all the bees are still clustering here. So underneath them, they also have the baby bees. So they'll keep it at about 90 degrees temperature in there. That's their best temperature, right? 90 degrees? They're kind of like me in that regard. Right? <laughs> yes. So if they get too hot, they'll actually have their own air conditioning. And if it gets too cold, they're their own heating boxes. Now, bees, it amazes me. Bees, colonies of bees, individual bees collectively, they do amazing things that are just sort of out of the box. And, and, you, and, and it's all, all, be, all, all as bees. It's just the weirdest thing. They do amazing things with how little they are. They do. So one honeybee, she'll only live for about four weeks in the summer. Mm -hmm. She'll be flying to collect nectar so much. And she'll only make about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in her lifetime. So it's a very small amount for the, how much work that they put into it. Hannah's awesome. She can sit out here. You got kids? You got small kids? You got big kids or adults even? Come on out here. Hannah will talk your ear off about bees. And I, it's, I don't mean that in a negative way either. It's kind of cool to learn about uh, what they do, their purposes, and uh, how they kind of cohabitate in this thing here. And again, Jenny and uh, em, or, uh, Emily and Ken, their temperature is about the same temperature I like, right about 90 degrees. So the, today's weather should be pretty good for bees in the next week or so too. Well, I do agree with you that uh, bee colonies are just amazing. The division yeah. of labor, you have the worker bees, you have the scouts, mm -hmm. you have bees know exactly mm -hmm. what to do. And man, they, they can't be as smart as we are. But <laughs> I, I apparently they are. Oh, I well, think they, some they days are. have got us beat. Hey, the queen bee at, the queen bee at my house says she's smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. There you go. Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Cor Harlan at the Clark County Fair. Yeah.